Hello True Believer, today we're going to go through how to make your own clamshell. So there's the link which I'll put in the description and we're just following off the Tinkercad uh, website from Autodesk. So well, let's begin how to create a clamshell. So if we click there, that should load up our little um, layout with all the instructions on the side here. And that's the basic general shape that we're going to be trying to aim to make. So clamshell edges all the way around and um, Tink Autodesk has been kind enough to give us a beginning model. So that's the beginning part. Okay, so the first step is we're going to need to try and duplicate uh, this shell. So let's just rotate this around. And we're going to use the uh, duplicate tool. So you can either go edit duplicate or uh, control D, or we're just going to use the alt key, which is what I person prefer to do. So as long as you um, rotate and use the same sort of position, it should all sort of match. So the instructions say just to rotate it by 15 degrees along the z-axis. So if we zoom in there and make it a little bit bigger, and we click on there and go Alt, drag it across, and let's rotate this guy around 15 degrees. Okay, so that's 15 degrees, and then we click it in and make sure it matches and aligns. Um, so we keep doing this so that the X and Y axis, so the edges touch us back to the original, which it has done there. Um, duplicate a second one and total, do this in total until you've got five times. Okay. So we're going to come back here. Oh. 15. And it's negative 15 because it's going the other way dire uh, direction around. And we'll go again. 15. That looks pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five, one more. 15. a little bit too far up. Excellent. So there's our 15 shapes. And we've basically got it touching the edge on each of these. And it looks pretty clammy like. Um, so now we're going to duplicate this side and flip it over. So keep this original. Select all the shapes. Well, we're going to cheat. So instead of that instruction, what we're going to do is select that, press shift, control D for duplicate, and then we're going to um, flip it. And you're going to flip it along that axis, and then just drag that across until it's in line. There we go. So there's our clamshell done. So we now should have nine shapes, which it does. Um, rotate 15 degrees. Yep, no, that looks fine. Now this is a little bit weird. So it's talking about the work plane tool. Um, all it's talking about here is if you place this pyramid down and you place a work plane on it, you can manipulate things based off that. So if you now do, uh, for example, scaling, it now elevate, it will now do it relative to that particular work plan that you've done, which gives you some angles. Um, not quite sure what this has to do with this clan, but we'll keep going. So how to do the hole. Um, again, not quite sure why this is in here, but we'll uh, humor it. If you're doing a hole into this shape, um, simple move the box in the middle. And then if you group that, and then use the group function. I can't do it because it's already been used. So when, when you use the hole in the material, 
it won't be doing it. Now, the reason why that didn't work then is because if we ungroup each of these shapes, it's already been the whole uh, method's been applied to them. So um, that's actually one of the next parts. So for the final details, um, we need to put an egg in. So let's just put that back in. If we go into the basics and then we go down to characters and then about halfway down, there should be an egg. Yep. So we're gonna put an egg in place. Now that's looking a little bit too big compared to everything else. So let's just scale that down. And what's to be about 18 they say. Yep, so 18. And then we're gonna rotate this around 90 degrees. So if you hold down shift, that allows you to get to the 90 really quickly. And then because this is 18, we probably wanna drop nine. I was already floating, that's a bit interesting. So let's get that leveled first. And then now if we get down nine, yeah, that's looking better. And then let's zoom that in, compress it down. You can play around with this until you sort of make it the way that you want it. So there's the clam with the uh, egg on the end. And then the next step was to round the edges. So at the moment, it doesn't quite look like the original image. See how it's got a bit of curvature there. So if we go back uh, like I did before and click on the original image and we ungroup it, if we get rid of that hole, so click on that side and press delete. And then we go back, shift click, on each of those objects and then group them back, we should get that curved side. Excellent. And then if we do that again on this side, so we ungroup, click on that block, delete, click, shift click, shift click, and then group. We've got our clam looking a bit more sort of contoured around. Excellent. So now we've got that, um, it's not quite looking the same. So if we click on both of them, we make them back to a Y. Excellent. And I think the last step is we've got to do the other side. So yep. So if we select all of this, get rid of the uh, egg and we go control D for duplicate. And then we flip and we're going to go around that axis. That's done. Hey, we need to group it as well first, sorry. So you see how it's all not grouped. So if we go all that, click on that and group it. If you go control D and flip. We click on that side there and drag it down. There's our clan. Fantastic. Awesome. So have a play around with that. Try and get those angles working and there's your first clan made. Congratulations and we'll move on to the next topic.